Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy on today here bringing you another video today. And today, guys, I want to say real quick before this video even starts, I'm sorry for not uploading these past few days. I have graduation coming up. I'm graduating high school in a few days, and it's a lot of stuff to that's happening that I need to get ready for. So, uh, yeah, um, I've been pretty busy. And also, these past few days, too, I've been kind of down. And what I mean by down, I'm just not really been feeling myself and not really be feeling like uploading um, too much. So, yeah. Um, but apart from that, let's get into it. So today what we're going to be talking about is tier list in Dissidia and pretty much any game that you're playing. I want to just make a point clear, alright? It's not that this video is going to be bashing tier list. And if you follow tier list, I'm not saying that you're a bad player or you don't know what you're really talking about during games and all that or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Tier lists are good for a multitude of reasons. And if you live by a tier list, like for Dissidia, for whatever the case may be, I'm not judging you. All right, I, I just want to get this off my chest because I've been seeing this a lot recently. And I just want to tell everybody, you know, some stuff. So first off, let me list off like why a tier list is good. A tier list is good for a multitude of reasons. Uh, for one, it shows free to play players what units are really good and what units to go for and what units to kind of avoid. Uh, from their pool, that their, their limited uh, premium currency that they have in any game they play, it's kind of just shows them, you know, what to do and like what units to go for. Uh, in the city, you know, you may see that. Oh, um, why can't I think of his name right now? I can't remember. Oh man, what's his name? Freaking! I just saw him. Laylee, that's his name. Laylee, right now in JP, I think it's because I think he just got an awakening. I'm pretty sure. I'm not for sure on that though. But uh, Laylee is right now rated as a SS character in JP right now, and people may see that and be like, "Yo, I'm gonna pull for Laylee. His banner's out on Global right now. I'm gonna try to get his weapon and try to max him out and all that other stuff, which is perfectly fine. It really is." And that's what the tier list is good for. It's good to show players what to get. Also, it's good to kind of see where the state of the game is kind of at. See what makes the game, the, well, really what's making the meta of the game. Like, what's really out of the top characters for a game? What is it that they're all kind of similar in doing? If we use an example like Dokkan Battle, Dokkan was a game that was very, I want to say was pretty balanced during the 70% meta, then it kind of went overboard with whenever it went to the 120s, but I do want to say that the all of the top characters in that game had a very similar thing going for them is that they could all hit extremely, extremely hard. <laughs> And that was the similarities they all had. Of course, if a character, and also a part, and on top of that as well, the really good characters also had a good link set in that game, and all that other stuff that made them them. In Dissidia, you know, you have a multitude of reasons as well. Maybe this character can debuff and do a bravery attack, or not bravery attack, but debuff and like do an HP attack on top of it. For example, Seymour that just came out does a bravery plus HP attack that does a big debuff on the enemy, kind of similar to Titus in the current meta of the game. And if you anybody knows, currently in global, Titus is, or Titus, you know, however you want to pronounce his name, it's pretty, he's, he's pretty busted right now. But of course, you know, whenever awakenings come and all that, Titus will see some drop. But I want to say this, apart from everything that I just listed, and there's a multitude of other reasons, you know what I'm saying? There's so many other reasons why tier lists are good. And like I said, and I don't know if I actually said in the beginning of the video, but I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to, you know, say that tier lists are bad or anything, but I want to get this point across because it, it really hurts me to see people really do this and kind of just like trash on like, or they see people trashing on their favorite character, whatever the case may be. Um, and they're just like, dang, like I kind of just feel like they're useless. So let me talk about this. I feel like in any game you ever play, um, no matter what it is, you should always pick the unit you're going to have most fun with. So for example, right now, right? Seymour currently in JP is rated as a D unit. He is a D. So if I was a player and I was looking at that, maybe Seymour was, you know, one of my favorite villains in the Final Fantasy franchise, I would be like, dang, you know, he's a D rated character, so they just made him complete trash. But if you just look at it as the rating and you don't actually go into more details, you actually find out that Seymour hasn't even gotten awakening yet. And probably whenever he gets an awakening or his sixty or his level sixty, he's gonna be so much better than what he already is um 
which is really crazy to me because I mean he's been out for a while in JP like what he's been out for like what six seven maybe eight months in JP I don't know how long it's actually been in JP but point is is that if you were a new player if you were anybody you saw that and you're like dang you know that kind of sucks well to be honest you really don't need to mind that too much I want to say because at the end of the day right people are going to constantly debate about the tier list and only and i know tons of people are going to only use characters that are good on the tier list ss characters and s or a characters those are the only characters they're going to pick from in order to cons you know in order to let's say uh formulate their team now that's not bad in any way shape or form because that means you have a really solid team and all that other stuff but at the same time if you're not having fun that way and you were like, dang, I really want to use, let's say your favorite character is like, I don't know, Zidane. Let's say your favorite character is Zidane. And you're like, dang, I really want to use Zidane. And you're kind of losing interest in the game because you're not using Zidane on your team. You're not using the character that, you know, is your favorite character on your team. You're kind of losing interest and you're like, dang, I kind of want him. But, you know, and then you're just like, dang, I just have this really god tier team. But I don't have my favorite character on it, and you're kind of a little bit sad and all that other stuff because you're like, I really want to use them. Main point of this video is you guys may think this is all just rambling, but I really want to say that use the character that makes you happy um, and makes you like have fun with the game. Let's say if your favorite character, whenever Sephiroth comes out, I'm using Sephiroth on my team for forever. Like he is my favorite villain of all time. The only other villain that's probably my favorite next to him is probably Ardent from, is that his name, right? Or Arden, isn't that his name? From Final Fantasy 15 and then Genesis, I guess you could say, as well, is the characters that, you know, that I'm, are like my favorite villains in all of the Final Fantasy franchise. Of course, you know, everybody else. I know Seaboy and all that other stuff. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. They're all great too. Please, please, calm down. <laughs> but at the same time, you know, I'm not going to let a tier list stop me. And this is the main point of the video that I want to get in. Don't let the tier list stop you from using a character. If you want to use that character, go ahead, man. Like, you know, you use them. Max out their weapon. Max out their equipment. And all that good stuff, man. Like, you, you have a blast, all right? You do you and you have fun. Um, and that's the main point at the end of the day. Is that even though, yes, this game is a gotcha game. And there is going to be characters that are better than other characters. That's just going to happen. And it, it's just going to be that way. Uh, I mean, look at freaking Brave Exvius, right? Cloud is like, what? He's not even that good of a character in Brave Exvius. Wherever I play Brave Exvius, Cloud is the only, is a unit that I use on every single team, no matter what, unless I don't need a breaker. So, uh, I literally use Cloud every chance I get. And Sephiroth just came out, and I did not get him. But if I ever pull him, you best believe I'm using Sephiroth every single way, every single day on that freaking game. So, yeah, that's the main point I want to get at here, guys. I don't want to waste any more of y'all's time. So, main point of the video, just have fun and use the characters you want to use. Uh, don't completely follow a tier list, even though following tier list is good for the reasons that I listed. But just do you. You know what I'm saying? Just do you and have fun with the game. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'm going to have some more videos coming out later this week and all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, um, you got lots to talk about. And also, I'm sorry, too. Like I said, I wasn't able to upload videos, so I wasn't able to cover, you know, Seymour coming. And who was the new character that came? I forgot his name. Um, I forgot who who was it. I forgot who came um, to the city or the newest character that did after Seymour. I had to look it up because I haven't even did his event yet. But I'm sorry about that. I couldn't cover any of that news. Don't worry. I'm, I'm back. I'll do it as soon as I can. And uh, expect that for the rest of the time. Um, I just had I was going through some stuff and all that other stuff. And uh, just didn't feel like I uploaded. But yeah, guys. Hopefully, you enjoy. And I'm out, guys. Peace.